Yeah, not quite as cuddly as a panda, but bearing a striking <laughs> resemblance. I this see is, it. Yeah, yeah, I do too. This is one of Japan's newest species, the skeleton panda, because you can see the skeleton too. Right. It's a sea squirt. Right. Sea squirts are filter feeders found in all seas, and they're primarily fixed to a surface, but this specific type that's been making the rounds on social media has never been studied by scientists until now. Do you hear that sound too? Yeah, like, it's kind of, it's listen, relaxing listen, listen, actually. Listen. What is it? Oh, Ooh. it's like a All right. Well, anyway, thing. Japanese researchers <laughs> published a paper earlier this month. I thought it was my stomach for a minute. And then I was like, oh, no, it's these creatures. Anyway, marking its arrival as a new species, right. scientists say the white parts that look like bones are actually the blood vessels that run horizontally through the gills. Yeah. The black parts on the head, the ones that look like the eyes and nose, are just mm -hmm. a pattern. And they're not yet sure if they serve a purpose beyond twinning with the panda bear. But why? I, but, 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 but why twin like a panda bear? I, They're so that is interesting. Yeah. not connected. No, and, but but <laughs> but nature's this amazing, beautiful thing. You know, the water runs through the open part, and they they they're a filter, so they collect water through them, mm -hmm. and then they get the nutrients from it. Yeah. And it's kind yeah. of amazing it is stuff. Fascinating. I can actually, because the mouth is open, I can see you know just taking that video and putting like your favorite song with it. <laughs> and it looks like they're singing. I don't know, maybe.